Hey beauty squad, it's your girl TT, better known as the Tiny Christina. Welcome back to my channel of all things life, love, and beauty. And you know, we are approaching the end of the year and there has been a lot of makeup that has come out this year. And obviously, you know, I can't buy everything, but I buy what I like and what I want and a combination of the two, what I like and I want. And there are some things that I just let pass and I'm just not interested in. And here we are about midway through November, you know, Thanksgiving is, is next week, believe it or not, and then Christmas will be here before we know it. And I've, I've seen some of the palettes that are coming. I'm not really interested in a lot of them. A lot have come out this week, and I'm like, mm, not interested, you know, right away. And, you know, I'll just say I, I compiled a list of what has come out this year and what I think is the best and okay and the worst. So there's been, and what I like, some might not like and, and vice versa. But, you know, again, I, I try to be selective with my makeup because I can't buy it all. And I buy what I like. I go, I see it in person, you know, and then I'll you know, check out reviews, you know, thoughts, you know, swatches, and then just kind of make my decision from there. And there's been a few I'm kind of like, mm, I ain't feeling it. There's been a few lately. I'm just like, I'll pass, I'll pass, I'll pass. And so I'm going to give you, you know, my best, okay, and worst, <laughs> or just not so good palettes or some that I just haven't picked up, you know, anymore, you know, this year. I'm just kind of like, I'm good, you know, on those. So I have several here. And for someone, you know, I said I buy what I like and what I want. I've actually purchased a few this year, <laughs> this year and I'm sure we all have. So to narrow down the list has actually been pretty easy because I know what I reach for and what I don't reach for. And some I, I know I'm going to give away and some I'm going to hold on to. So... Stick around. Let's see what this list looks like, you know, and let me know what you think. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, TT's channel. So and hit the bell so you know when the videos have been uploaded. Like, comment, you know, tell me what you think. Tell me what you want to see. You know, this look I created with the Pat McGrath, you know, Dark Star palette, one of her three palettes. That's <laughs> at three, three palettes that came out recently. And, you know, this is kind of my purple, sultry, smoky eye look. Hmm. <laughs> so stick around and you'll see what's on my list. <laughs> All right, y'all. So there is a lot of palettes to choose from. And I'm kind of going to go from the beginning of the year to the summer, fall, up until... Now, there's there's been a lot of makeup releases, and I don't think I've ever seen it quite like this, you know, and again, luckily, I look at some of it, and I'm like, I'm just not interested, but there's been, you know, several that I've purchased, and I'm just kind of like, I need that in my life, and so <laughs> we'll start, you know, with those. These are in no particular order, you know. We'll just kind of, you know, go through them, go through them together. So one of the earlier palettes that came out this year was the Soft Glam palette, palette. I love this palette. This is a palette. I've, I've used this palette on several occasions and I like it. It came out in February, maybe around Valentine's Day. And I thought this was kind of a, a different take for Anastasia. I mean, they put out some, some really good palettes. I didn't like Modern Renaissance, and I didn't like the uh, Subliminal one or whichever one that came after that. Didn't like that. And this one I saw, I saw it in person, saw a couple reviews, and I'm like, okay, I had to have it. So this is definitely one of the best palettes that has come out this year. 
is soft glam. It's a multi-purpose, you know, palette. There's just some soft looks in here. You could go with the smoky eye in here. You know, it's pretty. You know, it's definitely got some great transition shades, but that's typical of Anastasia. So there's that. And let's see. I mean, we can't speak of Anastasia and not speak of Norvina, which came out uh, maybe earlier this summer, you know, this came out, you know, and it was to me, it was similar, you know, it was similar to Soft Glam, but I love purple. So she definitely had a, a couple of shades of purple and this color here, Summer, broke and I've just been delicate with the palette ever since. But I think it's a, a really good palette. It's a, I know a lot of people were mixed on this palette. I like the palette. You know, it has some really nice soft colors in here. Again, I thought it was very similar to Soft Glam. But, you know, you, it's, it's still, you know, workable. It was still a good palette. One palette that... Let's go into the summer, like early summer. I'm just an honorable mention here, because I don't think I mentioned it. It came out about a year ago now. It's the Chocolate Gold Palette from Too Faced. And it smells like chocolate or cocoa. And this was a palette. I've used it a few times. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but I've actually used it. I like this palette. It's not one of the best palettes, but this is the first palette I bought from Too Faced in a long time time I mean the packaging of the palette is really really nice and it was very well put together you know it has some great transition shades in here and it smells good again I've used it you know a few times and this was the last palette I purchased from Too Faced and I want to say it came out about a year ago now and I, I like it I used it a lot when I first got it of course, as we do, and then we move on to other palettes, but I still use this one. So this is really kind of a, I like it. It's an honorable mention, and the fact that I hadn't purchased anything from Too Faced in a while says a lot, because I really, really like this one. As we moved into the summer, oh my God, it was just palette after palette after palette after palette. One was the Pat McGrath, the Bronze Ambition. At least I believe that's the name of it. it is Bronze Ambition. This is part of the Mothership Sublime. And she released three. It was La Vie and Rose. You know, she released three. This one and then there was another one. And the others, you know, I was not going to use any of the colors in those, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, of the six pans, you see, I, I use this one pretty regularly. This pretty much stays within arm's reach of me. It's pretty, it's it's a nice bronzy palette. If you're going for a neutral look, which I know we all like a neutral look, you know, this is one that I have reached for several, several times. And it's definitely one of my favorite. Of those three, again, this was the only one that I purchased, you know, $55. If you can afford to get all of them, go for it. But for me, I buy I buy what I like and what I want. And so this is the one that, that I went with. The summer also brought in what I think is probably the best palette of the summer was this Makeup Shayla collaboration with ColourPop. And I believe it was a limited edition. It came with lipsticks, which I'm wearing Quickie and Neat Freak gloss today and it came with booming and pose highlighter this palette i use pretty regularly and I, I dip into some of the colors when i'm mixing colors but this is probably my go-to palette for a lot it's small i travel with it and i i can't speak highly enough of this i know when it came out i used it in I mentioned it several times in several of my videos. I love this palette. I absolutely love this palette. This is the best of summer to me, if not the best of the year. And it was just, it's just well put together. There's colors in here. I've dipped into every color in this palette. <laughs> Usually we get a palette 
there's 16 colors in here usually you might just use one or two I've used every single one in this palette so that says a lot for me this is probably the best to me that was released this year was this makeup Shayla palette and that says a lot again because I buy what I like what I want I had to have it and I use it pretty regularly let's see the summer also bought the Jaclyn Hill vault collection she released I don't know how many came in the vault but you know I went into the store I looked at all of them I swatched all of them and I ended up with just bling gloss and <laughs> just bling gloss which was you know kind of purples and and berries I went with this I use it and it's in the okay pile it's it's just okay to me I like it but it's okay but it's in my opinion also quickly unforgettable and I keep it close and I've dipped into some of these other colors to mix with other colors but as far as putting a look together I really haven't done that with this but again this is the one that I liked the best was bling gloss of the vault and the others just had colors I probably just would not touch for the price you can't beat it you know I, I don't remember how much I paid for us for this but I know it was relatively cheap and I got a discount <laughs> when I went to Morphe too I used Jacqueline's discount so that's always a plus too so it's okay it's you know it's it's okay and so I, I went out on a limb and tried KKW Beauty and I bought the Cherry Blossom the, cl the classic blossom palette this came out just you know in the summer fall and again this is one that I use pretty regularly I travel with this one too I like it I like it a lot it's probably in my best category I would say because as simple as it is it's nice it's got some some really great you know shimmer colors here your matte colors I like this one and it was what forty dollars and some change and you've got ten shades in here it's nice I I was pleasantly surprised by KKW Beauty with this one I also bought a nude two lipstick from her and a deep deep purple kind of burgundy lipstick that I love and a lip pencil so this kind of goes into my best category too I'm gonna say uh, okay the cranberry palette I reviewed this lately and I like it I don't love it it's okay this is Natasha Natasha Denona this one came out very recently and it's it's a nice palette you know these palettes these little mini palettes are small you can travel with them I like it it's okay but I don't love it I certainly haven't reached for it but more than maybe two or three times and and that was that was really it for me for this one so it was just kind of eh, okay we all know that camel palette I ain't reached for this thing one time I think I gave it a second chance I used it the first time didn't like it I mean you can look at it I have barely used this thing I I don't like this at all and this I will probably give away I just don't like it 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 just didn't you know the colors just didn't pick up well to me it didn't appear to have the typical Natasha Denona formula I didn't like it and again it's it's a neutral palette that I was hopeful for and for traveling it was perfect but when I went to use it when we were in Hawaii I ended up just changing my look altogether didn't didn't care for it then there is the brown sugar palette ah! the brown sugar palette color pops collaboration with Karuchi Tran I bought the whole set like I said it was what four lipsticks three gel colors two lip glosses and the palette for $65 you can't be all of that for $65 this is a palette I have been using every day since I got it every day since I got it I love it it's it's again a neutral palette do we need more neutral palettes in our lives 
maybe but this is one I think and if you just got the palette for $12 it's definitely worth it very very cute palette it's definitely you know for me the best of you know this year it, and it's a cute I like it I, I've raved about this and Colourpop is just killing the game right now and I ain't mad at him and let's see hmm the nude palette from Huda Beauty the new <laughs> nude palette I'm gonna say you know <coughs> this is a pretty palette it's a spin on nude which is nice you know it's not just you know your typical browns that you would get in like this brown sugar palette or what should have been this camel palette it's got a lot of shimmer glitter it's got some some neutral colors you know here some great transition colors I've used it a couple of times I haven't dipped into these these chunky ones yet but you could best believe I I will but for like going to work in everyday looks I've just kind of used a couple of them but it's a nice palette it, it this is definitely one of the best I'm gonna say of this year when I put it up there with perception okay yeah maybe because it's a nice neutral palette I think you know the spin on it being nude and still being neutral I think is what got me you know because it wasn't just your typical warm browns your bronzies your tans it it definitely you know wasn't it wasn't that and I'm gonna say now I said perception was probably the best palette this year but it it, it perception great palette <coughs> excuse me great palette perception is don't get me wrong it it do I want to say it's the best this year for the price? Definitely. But probably, hands down, to me, other than that Perception palette, is this Pat McGrath, the Mothership one that came out recently. What is it? I can never remember the name. But this one that came out recently. And this is the Mothership 5. And this one, it's bronze. It's bronze something. And this one, I mean, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've used this a few times. This is definitely a palette I go to when... Let me just kind of cover this so you'll get a reflection. You know, this is what I, what I use when I'm going out is I use this palette. This palette is beautiful. Pat McGrath delivers consistently. She delivers the this. I mean, this thing is heavy. It's got some weight to it, so you're not going to travel with it. And you spend 130 bucks on this. You know, this is going in your carry-on bag, if not in my purse. But I wouldn't travel with it because it's not something. You know, it doesn't have looks that you are going to want to wear every day again if if we're going out this is what i tend to to go with it's got this beveled mirror in it i mean it, it's got purple which i love purple and it is just a great palette it, it it's it's a great palette i have her other one that came out about a year ago again that's one i use for going out the holidays are coming you use you know this palette or that palette you know for that so I'm gonna say between Pat McGrath and the makeup Shayla these are my two favorite palettes this year I'm gonna say Pat McGrath is you know over you know my perception palette simply because she's Pat McGrath and you know the price the quality that you get is just un unmatched you know like no other and perception is just I just love perception I've talked about it several times on my channel I just I, I just love this palette but I'm gonna give it to you know auntie Pat McGrath because she brings it every time and she delivers you know it's quality it's pigment I mean you just this is her her purple you know love that and here's this this really pretty bright this pink there 
And then there's this. I, I don't have the names, you know, right in front of me because, you know, they're not on the palette. But, you know, this is what you get with, with Pat McGrath is you get quality. You get pigment. You get long lasting and this is probably to me the best that has come out this year and it just came out maybe a month ago but to me it's it's definitely you know worth you know every penny so you know that's it you know th this is what you know I've purchased this year you know not a lot that I didn't like but probably more of uh, you know okay <laughs> you know kind of you know, kind of palettes, you know, kind of deal, but, you know, we all know. This right here, mm-mm, mm I'm done. But anyway, let me know what you guys think, you know, what some of your favorite palettes have been this year, because there's been so many <laughs> this year, it's just not even funny. But let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you know when my videos are live and ready for viewing. And until next time, with this very sexy, sultry eye that I've created, Latanya Christina is out. Bye.